Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening 128. And uh, I've been a bit quiet since Sunday. I did say I would be a bit quiet since Sunday. Well, because I was exhausted. And one of the reasons I was exhausted is because I was straining my singing voice. Now, um, in this awakening, I intend to do everything I haven't done yet. <laughs> now, I'm a trained classical singer, which means I can sing, you know, very high, and I can sing, very deep. One thing I never mastered is what they call the mix. And the mix is what enables you to sing stuff like um, The Greatest Love of All, um, Celine Dion type music, um, Heart Alone. And I was getting so frustrated because I couldn't do it. And it doesn't make any sense as someone who could sing Top C without even warming up. I'm not, it's not on, but. I can test it, <laughs> see how high I can go. And I'm not boasting because all I'm saying to you is you need to grab your dream and do what I'm doing, okay? And the frustration of the fact that I could sing this, with the keyboard on, let's edit. <laughs> let's edit. Okay, so someone who can reach top C like that. E flat. E flat. Why can't I reach the same notes as Beyonce? Um, who basically I can reach the notes, but I can't do that mix. I can't do it without going into the head. And that's what I mean. It's like I'll be singing as long as he needs me. And then in order to get to the really high notes, I'd have to go. Which is in the head and not in the mix. And it's very frustrating for me as a singer to not be able to do the musical stuff. All this beautiful stuff like on my own, you know, and I, it's such beautiful, beautiful pieces of music from Les Mis. And even if I want to perform my own musical encounters, I need to have a musical voice. Okay, so. The reason I'm saying this to you guys is because I want you to grab life. I want you to grab life and do everything that you haven't done. So I just decided to find a singing teacher and there's loads online. And I've started practicing silly sounds like quack, 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 to get the voice in here. It's in the nose. People say I'm mad, I don't care. But in order to, this is so important for me as a singer that I can sing anything. That's it there. Like a baby when it screams or a cat. You know, that's it, it's there. It's there, the cats of course don't like it. But to me, it's so important because I can't move on any further than I have. I can sing anything operatic, I can sing the very low, but I can't do the songs that I really want to do. And I believe that once I can get it, I mean, like, uh, why, can, why, why are people so heartless from hair and the age of Aquarius, but with the, the, the proper voice, you know, the dawning of Aquarius, not the age of Aquarius, to me, that's a massive goal because I've never done it. And some people would say, well, to me, it's a massive goal to, to hit top C. That's E, oh my God. And F. And so my voice is getting higher and higher, but I can't do it musically, so anyway. So I thought I'll come on here and ask you, what is it that you want to achieve in this awakening, in this ascension that you haven't done yet? Okay, now if you notice, I got moving on TV. So when I stream, because I don't have the logo, I've got the logo now and I've got 
how glory productions you should be able to see that all the time because that's the website that's where you go to check out the website okay so i'm trying to do what i can because that's all i could do at the moment is a few a3 posters and and the website so you can go on there when i'm streaming you will see hogglory.productions.com and if it's not perfect i'm not sorry about that because it's never going to be perfect and at the back moving on tv and it's not perfect and if you, if that bothers you then that's an issue you need to look at because we talked about perfection and i sang the song it's got to be perfect it's got to be worth it and this is where it comes in too many people people not people you see the difference a second best i won't take anything less it's got to be yeah perfect and it's never going to be perfect this is going to be excellent so i'm really happy you know how much i love my singing so last night about 1 a.m. in the morning there i am I'm watching tv and trying to practice all the silly exercises like bubbles which i can't do without lifting my i can't do it with you. and i've got to practice all these exercises and what i'm saying is practice makes perfect and when i'm ready i will sing the perfect love of all because the perfect love of all is all about loving you loving yourself okay and i was sitting up like till i don't know 3 am in the morning watching the songbirds uh, teaching music and i signed up for a course for about 20 quid i think online uh, in order to get this issue sorted out so um, if they send the boys in blue over for me singing i wasn't singing at one for him in the morning i'm singing now and it's seven o'clock in the evening so to me the awakening is what haven't you achieved yet and as i put out there do never tell anybody your big dreams okay this is not a huge dream for me because as you know um i've performed all over the country as pia from kalas and i can sing and i'm performing i just want to learn a new technique to enable me to sing Celine Dion. I can tell you that that's not a huge thing, but the big massive dream you keep to yourself unless you you really know that it's focused and you're asking people to come on board. You only ask specific people to help you. Okay? But I know what my massive dream is and I'm going out to achieve it. Are you? I know exactly what my massive dream is and I'm going out to achieve it. Now Okay, so I want to talk about rest as well today because a lot of you are continuously working. I see you burying and checking out stuff and working and worrying yourself. Some people are worrying themselves to death. You know what? I'm not in that consciousness anymore. I'm doing what I love on a day-to-day -day basis and ascending and I don't really it doesn't bother me so much what's going on out there because I'm not going out there. Uh if I do go out and I have to buy some cat food because they I would just go down the local shop where nobody bothers with me whether I'm wearing a mask or not. The guy in there doesn't wear one either and I'll buy a couple of tins of cat food, a little bit of food and I'll come on and I have to order stuff online because I know I'm vulnerable and I know my limitations and I do not want to get caught up in what's going on out there. And I advise that you guys don't either. To the level of you never stop I'm asking you to to just take a breather and I've been meditating I've been doing codependency groups online writing I haven't come on since Sunday so today is Tuesday so for me that's unusual and people are going to start asking am I okay <laughs> so because I've been trying to figure out what do I still want to do that I haven't done yet in this period of time that I've got to myself which is um I can sing all day long I can do my exercise the only person I upset any people I piss off for the cats and it is loud when you're going around screaming like a baby all day wow wow these are the exercises quack 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 you know quack 
it's it's that's what we're doing that's what i'm doing um i have to keep doing this until i get the goal i achieve um today i worked with someone um for three hours nearly again two hours on some grants and so i'm working with people and you can do this uh people have contacted me and asked me how i told you get an access worker something believes in me and so i've got an access worker and i've got mentorship for a whole year to develop the dream that i have the dream is massive but between that you have to rest but you have to find the balance okay you have to be you have to do halt don't get too hungry too angry too lonely too tired so let's have a look at that today do you, are you halting your life or are you continuously on facebook and social media or on the media trying to find out what to do what not to do it's like a lot i i trust i trust that we've got this i don't know why but i trust i trust that we've got this and we need to do some work yeah and god knows i work the whole weekend continuously and then take you need to take a break i don't like to say the word break because i broke my leg you take a rest you know like like um, the hangman in the tarot card you need to meditate like the four swords you need to take time out to rest okay you must rest. And so I didn't get up today to four people, <laughs> quarter to four for my meeting on Zoom. And okay, so halt, don't get too hungry. I've just had a big meal. I've just had a meal, a healthy meal. Have you? You must eat and you must eat things that are good for you. So a bit of protein. You know, if you're a vegan, make sure you get your lentils, whatever you, it's up to you, but you must eat because you have to keep your blood sugar balanced. And if you don't know enough about it, check out How to Stay Sane in the Crazy World. That's my um, film here on Living on TV. And it tells you all the techniques, half an hour of telling you all these techniques, about 10 techniques of how to stay sane, regardless of anything that's going on around you. Then you have to, A, don't get too angry. Now, I will get angry if I'm not happy. I will get angry if I'm not doing what I love, if I'm not in the moment. And singing and making programs, moving on TV and going out there to get money and to support you guys, particularly my wonderful, wonderful crew, uh, cast of Encounters, who deserve to be paid. And anyone who's on Moving on TV deserves to be paid. And last week, I managed to pay someone some royalties. And that was an incredible feeling to be able to give uh, because someone donated something. So um, don't get too angry. If you're angry, then sit with it, let it come up and then ask yourself, ask your high power, what can I do to get rid of this anger? No, don't get rid of the anger, feel it. Let it come up because you won't get well if you don't let it come up. But don't get too angry, okay? It's a bit like Buddha said, if someone hits you with the first arrow, then that's it. Don't let the second arrow hit you. So say you get up and something not nice happens, you turn on the news or whatever, and they say, we're well, locked down for another two years, God forbid. But, you know, I'm just giving you an example. And then the second arrow is, oh, my God, oh, my God. And, and you go into different directions and you hurt yourself and you hurt everyone else. You take it out on everyone, even the cats, when they want more food and you're screaming at them. So try to understand your limitations. You know, this has got me into trouble, my temper, because I'm only learning that Lauren has this impulse and she, boom, hurts people. And I have hurt people and I'm so sorry, sensitive people. And I've said this so many times now, I'm, I'm really wiping my karma as much as I can. I'm not doing it now. I am focusing on me and I'm focusing on that little child. And when she's happy doing what she loves, that seven-year-old, then she does, she's not as angry. So I'm not as angry because I'm doing my singing. You know, you have to find something that you love so much. And that to me is singing and running, moving on TV and moving on theatre and building on the dreams. There's, there's an incredible, incredible app. I recommend you get it. It's called Envision. It's free. And it helps you to build your vision of the future. It's, it's free. Um, you start off with um, uh, the foundation. I think it's about £10 a month. And then you get a compelling future. And every day you build your vision. They keep you focused. It's incredible how much there is out there to help us. And it's free.
Okay, I hope to bring on Michael James from the Law of Attraction uh, on streaming as well this weekend, as well as a couple of new singers, which is going to be great fun. Um, but okay, don't get too angry. Make sure you're doing something with your life that enhances you. And if you are too angry and you need help, then come to me. I will help you. Okay, that's what I'm here for with my skills and talents or, you know, my skills that I've developed over the years to help you. And also you need to give yourself time. So anger can come when you don't have any space. Now I've got too much space, as we all know. So I have to find a balance where I'm not letting the head completely bombard me with fear and panic. And I'm very grateful and I'm very, very lucky to have some incredible people in my life now. Mentors, powerful mentors, ascension courses, and a huge amount of gratitude and love for my life and for my the work that I'm doing, I hope you, you appreciate it too. And for the incredible people that are like my angels, they really are. I've got lots of angels and I'm drinking gallons of water. Don't forget gallons of water. It can get rid of depression very fast, but a whole bottle of water, well, all in one go. If you are like beings, you're gonna need more water because our vibrations are different. I never knew that. Now don't get too lonely. Now that's difficult because I do get very lonely because I don't get touched, I don't get hugged. And, and that hurts, it hurts. And I did share that in a group. You can go on online codependency groups. They're all over the world, all over the world. Anytime at night, all over the world, you just Zoom, okay? And the last one I went on, I said, look, I have not really seen people. It's, it's nearly nine months since I've had real companionship, three months. They're living on my own now. I haven't seen anyone for three months, except Martin who comes here once or twice a week. It's just me and the cats. And all the work is done on Zoom because I don't go to the rallies anymore because I decided to back down from that and also because it's too cold. And I know my limitations, the limitations of this body is I'll get, a, I'll get a cold, if you know what I mean, and I don't need that. So, um, don't get too lonely is a difficult one because of the way we're living. But moving on TV is working on that. You don't need to be lonely. Zoom with me. Come on board moving on TV. Do your own program. Connect. Or, you know, sometimes loneliness, again, it's okay to be alone on and off. But if you get really gut lonely, that is sad. So pick up the phone and call me. 07437532798. Contact me on hopegloryproductions.com or movingontv1 at gmail.com. I am here for you. And as people know, I always text back and I do my best to get a conversation going. But the last couple of days, I, if you're watching this, I've been keeping a low profile, building myself up, sleeping, resting, meditating, and uh, doing my singing, <laughs> doing my singing lessons trying to build up whatever I need to do. So getting lonely is hard because we are tribal, we are connected to others. And you're lucky if you've got family or children that you can be around. Um, as I said, I don't have anyone. So, but I'm past that now. And someone said to me, it's awful. I said, no, it's not. Because now I know I can find me. And for the first time in my life, I can do exactly what I want. I can sing around the house quacking like, like a, a duck for the whole day. Quack, 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 quack. You know, I was mad. Quack, 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 quack. You know, so the neighbors aren't around. They're not up until a certain time and upset the cats. Don't get too tired. As I said, you meditate. I come on here to talk and to speak to you and to teach. But for the last two days, I've been doing nothing. A uh, whole of Monday, a whole of Sunday night, the whole of today, apart from getting a grant application with someone else, working, working hard for some of you that are involved with moving on TV. I never forget you. Those of you that I know are struggling when I go out to get grants, I never forget you. And you need to know that. They might, fingers crossed, let's pray that you get a paycheck or something for moving on TV because I'm working for all of us. And me, I get a paycheck. That would be cool. So, um, Tiredness, yeah, tiredness is very difficult. You go to bed, if you can sleep, then sleep during the day if you can. I'm lucky, as I say. The body clock is all over the place. So don't get too hungry, too angry, angry, 
too lonely or too tired. That is your most important technique. And as I say, if you want to find out more, go on how to stay sane in the crazy world. I'll put a link down below. It's on Moving On TV. And um, also make sure that if you're around people, you say to them, look, I'm really sorry today. I don't feel too good. I need to take space. Um, I'm not going to be there for you. And if you need to take space, however long it is, just do it. Just do it. Three months of taking my own space and I am glowing. I am happy, apart from the fact that I get lonely, yes, because that's a natural thing. And um, without the internet, uh, but I'm doing a huge amount of meditation, a huge amount of work on me to become the best I can be in order to carry the message of a new media for all of you, a media to be proud of in front of everyone. That would be the big dream in some way. You need to get to everyone and show them how unique and how special, how amazing you are. Okay, so let's, let's do a little technique around halt. So I want you to get grounded and make sure your feet are connected with roots going out of the floor. As you can see, I've got Moving On TV here. I've got Hog Glory. So when I stream, people will know who I am. Because that, that is amazing because I haven't got anything, just the restream thing or YouTube. So I thought I'll, I'll, I'll do something. There you go. There you go. Moving on TV. It's cool. It's cool. Um, okay. So imagine you've got roots coming out of your feet. Perfection again. There you go, Lauren. I'm working on it. I'm, and you can't see my eyes. Well, that's good. It means my hair isn't too short, like in the song, hair. And, and this is hematite which protects you from five thingy and from EMFs, okay? Hematite, very important. And I also have Shungite. Shungite is amazing. It stopped my tummy upset when we put it in Wi-Fi. Absolutely amazing. So Mother Nature is giving you everything, okay? And also be very careful when people send stuff around and ascertain whether you think this is just fear-mongering because we are winning, guys, and you need to focus on the fact that we, well, we've probably already won. We just need to catch up with it. Whatever happens, you know, keep a low profile as much as you can at the moment and, and do your work, yes, like me, but don't push it because you will get blocked and you will get censored. So I'm trying to go gently, gently, using a lot of wisdom here, okay? Okay, so, and there is common law. I want to bring someone on to explain to you about the common law soon. I'm in touch with someone. Okay, lots of beautiful roots coming out of your feet, grounding you. And now when we breathe, we're going to breathe like singers, okay? So we're going to breathe from the abdomen, like when someone's having a baby uh, or um, yoga breathing. So it's always from here, from the diaphragm. And so you push out, you basically imagine that you've stuck a pin in there and you go, shh. And then you're going to blow it up like an accordion, which I must play one day. If anyone wants to give me 500 quid to, to repair my beautiful Ilana, my original beautiful accordion, I think that's what they want, 200 quid, I think, to repair her. She's amazing. In Dublin, she's nearly about 200 years old, I think. And then let it go. And again. And feel the diaphragm expanding, expanding, expanding. And then out. It's interesting that I've gone back to singing. And singing is, if you look at the baby, a baby yells, wah, 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 wah. That's a baby, you know, from here. These are the exercises I've been given because a baby can continuously yell all day and all night and it doesn't block its vocal cords. It doesn't get tired because it's not using effort. It's coming from here. That's no effort in that whatsoever. And also it breathes naturally because it doesn't know how to lift its shoulders. You learned that. It breathes from the tummy. And it goes, You know, it's a noisy one today, but that's natural. Okay, you need to go back to being like a baby. 
Literally, like Jesus said, be a child, an innocent child. Go back to the basics. Go all the way back to the basics. Pretend you've only been born. Okay, and you're starting again, and you want new values and new beliefs. It's like you can get your birth certificate now, and you can change your date of birth. So I am now 30, 33, 23. Who cares? That's it. That's it. I'm getting younger every single day. I'm full of energy. I'm doing what I love, and I'm gaining another 100 years of life. That's what I'm gaining. I am gaining it, and I intend to have a very, very long life, regardless of what this body is. You can do the same. Just go back to the beginning. Forget about everything you were taught. Everything that you have to die at a certain age, that you have to get sick. Why do you have to get sick? You create this flesh and blood. Of course, the miracles tells us that. You are the creator. So uncreate it. Now the manifestation is so quick. You can create a new eyesight within a couple of months. You can recreate your eyes within months now. I think maybe weeks. You can recreate your eyes by doing proper exercises. I don't need glasses when I'm on the stage. How is that possible? And yet, when I go back into life, there they go, on they go. Why do I need them? And I can see better. <laughs> I prefer this without glasses, I must admit. I like it when you can see my eyes. I think it's important. The eyes are. The, soul, the mirror of the soul, and if people can look into my eyes, why not? Can they not look into their own eyes in the mirror? Now, people will come on in and say, I'm a complete nutcase, and they're obviously trolls and idiots. And someone called me a psychopath for jumping around, dancing, showing off my legs. Why shouldn't I be proud of this leg? This leg, these legs were in a wheelchair. This knee was finished. It was finished. It was finished and now it dances, it moves, it does everything. And I'm bloody proud of my legs and I don't care if someone wants to call me a psychopath. These knees healed, knees healed without an operation because the body works with me, okay? It works with me. And when I went on the bionamics bed uh, because uh, before McDonald's uh, bionamics, I got rid of all the veins and lumps and things and bumps that were in my leg. You know, you can do anything when the med beds come, as I say. Who knows? Us women that didn't have children, maybe we'll be able to have kids again. We're not insane. I believe that they withheld all of this technology from us. And I be believe that this was leading to us becoming robots. Because if you look at what they've done with the social, all the distancing, keeping us away from each other, all we do is go on Zoom. I'm like a robot now. Here is Lauren. I'm on Zoom today. Hello, my name is Lauren. How are you today? All you can see is an avatar, a hologram, because you cannot feel this. You cannot feel this. Do you understand? I'm talking about the body. They can never do anything to what's inside of us, the soul, the spirit, whatever. It doesn't matter. The consciousness that we are. But this, they've turned us into robots. None of us, I don't see anyone. And I thought about that yesterday. I thought, oh my God, I'm a robot. All you see is my avatar. All you see is my hologram. Oh my God, that hurts. Because I am not a robot. I am a soul and an angel or an earth angel or whatever I am. But I have taken on a body that needs contact. A real body made of flesh and blood and bones and cells that mother nature helped to create with me real energies and light and darkness and colors and think about this incredible machine that you carry and how you know they have tried to destroy that in all sorts of ways and guess what we will get it back and watch the programs i'm putting out i love the one that's coming up about banging tins and going out in your local community to end the lockdowns and the carol singing, come together, the voice. The voice connects us, but again, the voice, um, what I'm talking about is we are have flesh and blood bodies. Now, if you are with people, 
to a certain extent, this is going to be a disadvantage to me, Lauren, because I'm going to forget how to interact with people when they're there. Does that make sense? Because we're brought up with people and, and that's a scary notion. And we'll do another awakening about that, but think about that. Think about it. I don't see or touch or hold a human at all. I touch cat, the cats, but humans have to interact socially in social conditions. And hopefully it's like getting back on the bicycle that the minute you're put into a social situation, I will have a lot of inner peace from being happy in myself, but I will be able to interact again with humans. Oh, I don't know. It's very strange, guys, to be nine months nearly completely on your own, apart from a few rallies and the occasional human here and there. But I'm, as I say, I'm hoping. So as I say, this little exercise I was talking about, grounding yourself and breathing. Let's go back to it. Okay. You say, I'm proud of this body. I'm proud of how I look, considering my age, the age, not my age. In cat's ages, I'm only, what, 12, I think. Right, okay, so don't get too hungry. How hungry are you? Have you eaten? Okay, think about this. Use your minds now a little bit. Are you hungry, guys? Have you eaten a meal? I mean, I can't eat more than one big meal a day anymore. I just can't. I, I drink smooth, I, dr I have some yogurt, I drink um, healthy drinks, as you know, green, green juices and all sorts of stuff with all my vitamins, but I cannot eat more than one meal a day, just snacks, healthy snacks. It's just the way it is at the moment. But a man needs to eat more because of metabolism. They need more calories, don't they? So are you hungry? Close your eyes. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Body, ask your body, body, are you hungry? And it will tell you, like a baby knows when it's hungry and it only needs that much to, to fulfill the stomach. After that, it's overeating, com compensating with sweets. And, okay, are you hungry? The hypothalamus knows when not, it knows when you're, you're full. And after that, it's an addiction. No, I'm not hungry at all. Have you had your water? Yes, I'm drinking my water. Here's my water on my sign. <laughs> so I'm going to do some water. As I said, depression will go down when you drink your water. <laughs> there it is, I'm so proud. And yes, it's not perfect, good. I hope it pisses you off because then you need to go inside and find out why. Do you think you're perfect? No, you're not, no one is. You try to reach excellence, that's the best you can do. And everyone is doing their best considering the circumstances we live in. Are you angry? Okay, let me check. Am I angry? Yes, I'm angry. I'm angry because I don't have any people to interact with. I miss getting together with big meditations and dancing and I miss drumming with loads of people. I miss the shows, I miss the theaters. I miss going on with an audience of real people. Yes, so I'm angry. Yep, there's some anger in there. Okay, feel it. Where's the anger, Lauren? <clears throat> it's in my core. The core is where I carry the anger, it's here to here. Ooh, and when I meditate, I can feel it. So breathe into it and really feel this anger and, and, and let it out in the primal scream if you can. Right, primal scream it out if you have to. Get cushions and whack them or just sit and meditate and breathe. Let it come up. You can all choose your own way. I do a look, for, look at the anger as a witness. I personally feel, believe you have to feel it. I don't think you can let it go without feeling. I don't believe that. So you feel it and it's all, it's everywhere. Rage, the heat is everywhere. I can feel the heat. Anger for me is rage and heat and it's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Hold it. 
feel it. The angriest you can feel, feel everything tensing. Oh, the Incredible Hulk is here. Wah! Feel it. The Incredible Hulk. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Can you feel it? The Incredible Hulk. Can you feel it? Right, feel it. Just sit with it. Don't do anything. Sit with it. See what happens. See what happens. It's going. It's going. You know, think about it. What causes you anger? Is it your expectations from people in life? Because God knows life hasn't lived up to it. You know, I don't have that many subscribers and viewers and I've given that up because I'm just happy doing what I love and letting it happen on its own. But it does make me angry sometimes, okay? But there you go, you sit with it. You're angry, okay? Just feel it. And it dissipates, it always dissipates. Drink water, go for a walk. You know, when it's come out, I'm not angry. I don't feel angry. I feel sad, so it might change to depression, might change to fear, watch it. You're a watcher now, you're a witness, you're ascending, you're up here and, and everything else is down there. You're up there, right? You're the watcher, the witness, you're up here, up here. And you're watching Lauren, I am watching, watching Lauren do these things, but, but as Lauren, I have to feel. I definitely have to feel. Don't run away from your feelings. Don't do spiritual bypass. If you do spiritual bypassing, you're not going to get well. You have to feel and heal. I came here to teach you how to feel and heal. That is one of the jobs I have as Lumiere. All right? The spirit being that I am. Okay. Loneliness. We talked about loneliness. Get on the internet. Ring people. There's not much we can do. If you can get to a group, that's up to you, you know. If you're lucky to live with people that are near you, like um, some people live next to patriots, are very lucky. Go and visit someone and spend some time with them. That, that is something you need to find your own answers or learn to be on your own and love what you do. Love it to the point where only occasionally do you get that little twinge of loneliness and it's going down and you do. And hug yourself, guys. I'm going to give you a massive virtual hug. I love you. To me, if someone calls me and we chat on the phone, the loneliness goes away. I must admit. It's just validation and knowing that that person is there and they care about you. So I'm going to ring a friend after this and see how she is. Okay? And then tired. Like, are you lonely? So, are you lonesome tonight? You know, whatever. <laughs> and then tiredness. Are you tired? And just ask your body, ask the body, ask the body, ask the mind, are you forgetting things? Because that's a sign of exhaustion. Am I forgetting things? No, today was okay, thank God. And um, what about the body? Is it aching? Because pain is, is a sign of tiredness. A terrible pain this today. Um, I, I would recommend taking devil's claw. Devil's claw is natural, there's got no side effects. Devil's claw and um, Make sure you drink lots of water with it. Okay, so you don't get, like, sometimes it can affect the stomach and you can get constipated. As I say, anything you need to know, please email me, I can help you. Because I'm working on myself all the time and the body and mind and everything. So, <clears throat> ask the body, am I tired? If I'm tired, I can hear, uh, I start to get hoarse. So yeah, saying to me, your throat chakra is tired, Lauren. Okay, we need to go back to the singing. Can't do the singing lessons, it's too late now, but oh, I can't wait for my new singer to come, teacher to come on board and let's say it came full circle. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. We looked at halt, how, not to get too hungry, angry, lonely, tired. We looked at your dreams. We looked at taking time out. I hope you enjoyed the awakening one, two, eight, I think it is, one, two, eight. And uh, I'll be back on the weekend. I'll be back on the weekend. Uh, with guests um, I, I've got David coming on again on Sunday David teaching more about um, his game his avatar game which is amazing 
where he's got his avatars doing yoga, drinking water, and oh my god, it's so exciting. Taking vitamins and absolutely amazing. Think a video game, yeah. So David Elam's on Sunday. I think it's two o'clock. Uh, we'll have Morgan singing at six o'clock, I think, on Saturday. We'll have um hopefully um who else is coming on? I think um Robert will come back again to talk about the carol singing. Um we should have Whitney on, another singer, I'll be on. <laughs> Um, who else is coming on tomorrow? Now? I know I've got to get my people now. Um, uh, so um, can I? Oh, maybe Michael Michael um, James from the lead Law of Attraction Centre in the UK, uh, who taught me that if you can't focus on something that you really, I went in years and years ago, and he just told me to focus on the cats because I loved them, and that was enough in order to get me out. Of the state I was in. So hopefully some of you will be on Moving on TV on the weekends. So if you have a story or a talent, oh Natasha, Natasha is going to be dancing I think on Sunday at eight o'clock on seven or eight o'clock on Sunday. I will do a schedule but then again you've got to have a backup plan and the backup plan is I will be doing a lot of singing but I will be singing hopefully more relaxed as I'll be doing my exercises all week waking my voice up, not singing too much, but just doing my exercises, my breathing and my singing exercises to the point where one day I will sing the greatest love of all is learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. So I love you. Take some time out, guys. Come on to Moving On TV. Enjoy the beauty of, of your dream and your mind, body, spirit. And if you can't find your dream, you gotta have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how you gonna make a dream come true? Come to me, I'll help you find it. Love you lots. Bye, darlings. I love you. Namaste.